Hello, my YouTube family. Um, yes, you are going to see this late because I just got home and it is 6.32 p.m. And I will explain. But let us do lips of the day first, shall we? Let us start off with, and as you can see, I'm not drinking anything. So that must mean that things are a little bit better. Today was a hell of a lot better than it was yesterday. Okay. And tomorrow's going to be hella better than, yes, to, than today and yesterday. Okay. Let's get on with lips of the day. I shall explain. The liner is Milani Color Statement Lip Liner. And this is in true red. Uh, lined. And filled. I have done a lip look on this before. Revlon Lip Butter. And this is in the color Candy Apple. I don't know if y'all be able to see that. Candy Apple. Okay, so there you have it. That is lips of the day. Okay, sit down. I don't know if it's going to really be that long, but you know me, I can talk. So um, the reason why I came home so late and the reason why you guys are going to see this a little bit later is because um, today was a good day. Today was a good, let me just preface by saying that today was a lot better than it was yesterday. Everything ran smoothly. No incidents, no accidents, no yelling, no raised voices, none of that. So it was a very pleasant and a very good day today. So let me start off with still why I came home so late. I left, I went, I left to work. It's six o'clock, I think. Anyway, um, you know, the regular, the regular, I took down my mail and as I was coming back and walking back into the office, I uh, ran into one of my coworkers. We're going to call her nice girl because that's what she is. She's very, very nice, very helpful, very, very nice. And uh, in the middle of the hallway. So we're in the middle of the hallway right before we get into the, to our office door. And, uh, I tapped her on the shoulder and I said, oh man, I could have used you yesterday because she's very easy to talk to. And on my first week at the job, when I was getting walked around and getting shown the office and everything, she said, if ever you need to talk about anything, just to come and say hello, because I'm in this little corner by myself. She said, come by, say hello. I'm easy to talk to. I'll talk about anything. Very, very sweet. And, um, She's Asian and she's very, she's a sweetheart. So, let me delete this bad boy. Okay. So, bumped into her as she was coming out of the ladies' room and we were on our way back into the office. And I just, you know, I just kind of lightly tapped and I, you know, I was talking about yesterday and I said, oh, I could have used you. Yet. Just not even really thinking anything of it. I just said, I could have used you yesterday. And she said, why? What happened? So I explained the whole situation with Pitbull and uh, my supervisor and all of that. And she was like, and as I'm talking, I'm facing her. So I'm not really seeing who's coming out of the office. And it was, it was like, by that time it was five o'clock. So she's like, bye, so-and-so, bye, so-and-so. And I'm talking about these people. And I'm like, bye, bye, see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow. And it felt like a Friday all day today. So I, I almost kept saying, have a good weekend. But I was like, bye, bye. So she said, yeah, let's just go in. And I said, oh, okay. So we're talking and walking in. And then we went into uh, one of the conference rooms and she closed the door and she said, okay, spill. So I told her everything. And she she listened real hard. She listened real hard. And she was like, let me tell you about Pitbull. I was like, oh, so there's something to say. Apparently Pitbull can get away with, I don't know who she related to. If maybe one of her ancestors uh, uh, started the company or whatever, I don't know what it is, but apparently she can even get away with yelling, yelling at the partners of the firm. Now, I know maybe it's old school. I don't know. Maybe things are run differently now. Back in the day, if you even deemed to even think about raising your voice to an authority, your ass was out the door. 
apparently Pitbull can yell at you, scream at you, and nothing will happen to her. I don't know what it is. I have no idea. I don't know who she's connected to. But um, maybe they fear her. Maybe she's, uh, you know, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and they want to just take it easy. They don't want to get sued or nothing. I don't understand. But she was telling me a story about a summer situation where they went to a place where no alcohol was served. And one of the partners snuck in a bottle. She got all adamant, Pitbull now. She got all adamant, started screaming about, you know, you're not following the rules and this is not the way things are done. And she said she was doing this in front of other people that were staring at them. Now I'm thinking, okay, who the hell, how can she get away with this? I really don't understand how she can get away with it. I didn't ask nice girl this, but I'm thinking to myself, so she could just, she could just yell and scream at anybody and nobody says nothing. Apparently that's the case. I don't know. I don't I don't get it. I don't understand. So I explained the whole thing to Nice Girl. And she gave me that story and she said, So that's how it is with her. I said, Oh, oh, okay. Um, all right. And then I told her about, you know, my supervisor embarrassing me by telling me that I need to, you know, find a better way of speaking or whatever. Uh, uh, I should, you know, pay attention to the way I speak to people. And I told her that she was embarrassing me in front of guests that were sitting in the reception area. So nice girl explained that, you know, my supervisor isn't really that type of a person and that you really should get to know her and blah, blah. Now this part, I was, I was just wah, 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 because I already have a feel for how my supervisor is towards me. Now, maybe towards nice girl supervisor is a different is a different person. But towards me, it's a whole different thing. But I didn't say anything. I just let nice girl talk. And she kept saying, you know, she's not that way and she's easy to talk to. And if, you know, for any reason you want to, um, you know, pull her aside next week and maybe discuss the situation so, you, so there won't be, you know, like a red flag or anything. Just and I'm listening to what she's saying. And in a way, she makes a good point. Because I don't know if I'm going to be getting reviewed after six months or do I have to work a whole year or whatever. But, you know, basically what she was saying is you may want to smooth things with supervisor so that it doesn't show on your record. You're not red flagged and, you know, you won't be considered a person with an attitude or anything like that. I got all of that in between what she was saying. I got all of that. So, okay, that that is understandable and it's food for thought. Whether I'm going to actually go through with it or not, I, like I said, food for thought. I'll get back to you. The jury is still out. So I don't know if I really want to approach, approach it that way. Then, you know, as we're talking about this, this, and the other, I also told her that my supervisor once told me that, you know, once I get comfortable with this paperwork and I'm starting to do them, you know, well, without a problem, she said, once there's a hiccup in the paperwork, it's going to come down on me and that I should know better. And, you know, all of it. So I see uh, as I'm explaining this to nice girl, I see her looking at me like, are you sure you're talking about the same person? And I and I called her on it and I said, you're looking at me kind of funny because you don't think that that's what my supervisor said to me, but I'm telling you that that's exactly what she said. She may not have said it in the exact same words that I'm using, but basically it's my ass. If there's ever a mistake that really shouldn't be a mistake. So she said, okay, I get it. I get it. And I suggested, and I'm talking to her and I said, I said, I'm, I would suggest, you know, maybe a 15 minute meeting on everybody getting in the room and being shown the proper way to do this paperwork. So when it gets handed to me, I won't have to study it, look at it, relook at it. It's written wrong. I have to take the time to write it right. That takes up a lot of time where it should be written the right way from step one. So new girl had this little, like little smirk on her face. And then she started out with, these are old people that you have to understand. I said, oh, okay, we're going to do that. 
She said, they are set in their ways, Nancy. I don't see any of them sitting in a meeting. I said, not necessarily the partners. She said, I don't see anyone sitting in the meeting discussing the right way to, because after so many years of writing it the way they write it, and they're old. And I said, well, not all of the, not all the old people are handing me the paperwork. There are some youngins who are handing me the paperwork wrong. The right, the, anyway, she goes, but they've been here longer than you have. I said, oh, okay, I get it. She said, just take your time. Just take your time. And if you have to investigate each period, comma, question mark, whatever, you do so. And if they have an issue with you being so slow about getting the paperwork done, you let them know. That's when you let them know and show them this is what was given to me, but I have to write it the right way. So it's going to take me some time because I don't want to F up because if I, if I do F up, it's my neck, not the person who wrote it wrong. So I said, oh, okay. Okay. She says, just take your time with it. Nobody's really in a hurry. Just take your time with it. It was basically in a nutshell. The talk that I had with Nice Girl was a really good, informative, eye-opening talk. So, yeah, I'm very glad that, I mean, we stayed in the, in, the, in the conference room for an hour, at least, just talking about the rights and wrongs and people's different personalities and how I have to come approaching it a certain way, not on the defensive all the time, and just kind of getting used to everybody's quirks and personality. And that includes Pitbull because she goes, Pitbull yells at everybody. If she could yell at a partner, at a senior partner of the firm and still be working here, then, you know, I said, oh, okay. So it was a very informative talk. It was a very, very informative talk. I like her a lot. You know, she's very young and they all are. I'm older than dirt. I'm older than I'm older than my supervisor. <sighs> but it is what it, it it is what it is. Basically, you know, things are not going to change to make me comfortable. I have to adapt to just the way things are done and make sure that my part, what I put in, is done correctly. That's just basically it in a nutshell. That's really what it is. Bottom line, point blank, period. They will continue to give me the paperwork wrong, and I must continue to investigate each period, question mark, comma, to make sure that everything is in their right square, in their right place. It, and, and when I input it into the computer, I have to make sure that I'm inputting it every which way correctly despite the fact that it's been given to me wrong. So that's not going to change. So, okay. So, so that, that is what it is. But I did say tomorrow would be better than today and yesterday because supervisor won't be there. Whoop, whoop. Say what? Yes, she is going to be out tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be quite the celebratory Friday for me. Can I just say? Okay, now that's the way to end the work week because this work week was the work week from hell. All right, at least the first three days were, and that's the majority of the week. So today was a good day. Tomorrow will be a hell of better. Okay, that's all I have to say about that. And here's another thing. I don't know who it was that was worried that my um, Jeep payment might not have made it. Holla, and I did say holla. Yes, Sarah, if you're watching, I did say holla. The payment made it because I checked in my checking account. Boom. It's been cash, baby. So my first Jeep payment under the wire paid. I'm very happy about that. So this week is ending on a good note. Okay. I'm just saying it's ending on a very good note. I really wish to hell it was Friday today. Because it felt like a Friday. It just did. It just felt like a Friday. I still have one more damn day to go. But it's going to be a hella good one. Hella good one, at least for moi. All right. I'm not going to say jack. 
I'm going to just, you know, I, I came in this morning, not with an attitude, but I came in with the mindset of just keep your mouth shut, do your work and just do it to the best of your ability. As it turns out, my defenses came down and it was a good day. It, it just was a good day. I even found myself laughing at certain things. So, you know, it wasn't a bad day at all. But I have to say this. Um, two places, and I am, I am pissed as a mother. Two places that I normally, I can't say normally go to lunch, but I used to go to lunch there normally when I was working at the other at the other law firm. The Taco Bell closed down. How you gonna close Taco Bell on me? And there was a Wendy's that I used to go to every once in a while. Today I was dead set on having me a chicken, a grilled chicken sandwich from Wendy's with a baked potato. Because there's no other fast food restaurant that serves a baked potato other than Wendy's. So I knew exactly where I was going. I was like, ooh, that's exactly what I'm going to have. I went to the Wendy's. Wendy's is dark. The the the, the parking lot is, is, is all scraped up. They're doing some kind of work. I was like, oh, damn, they done closed the Wendy's on me too? Taco Bell yesterday. I wanted to go to Taco Bell yesterday for lunch. The Taco Bell ain't there no more. It's something else. Go to Wendy's today. Wanted me a grilled chicken sandwich with a baked potato. I had a taste for a baked potato in my mouth like you just don't know. Was determined to have my baked potato. Didn't have my baked potato. I wound up going to Nathan's again. And I really, really, I mean, as much as I love Nathan's hot dogs, I really did not feel like having a Nathan hot dog whatsoever. ever. But the time was running because the Wendy's is on the east side Nathan's is on the west side, so I had to really trek on over. By the time I got to the Nathan's, I only had like 25 minutes left. And of course, there was somebody in front of me. Um, I think I'll have, I was like, oh, sweet Jesus in heaven. He was an old man, so I can't, you know, I can't be mad at him. And I looked at the, I looked around the Nathan's. First of all, A, I was the only black one. That's the, that's number one. Number two, I don't know. It must have been male senior citizen day or something because all of these men were old and obviously retired and they all felt like having a hot dog today. And I was like, you know what? What the, what the hell is going on here? And the one other woman that came in, she took her, her food and walked out. I was like, damn, you ain't even going to help a sister out? You, you ain't even going to, like, sit and eat? Because <laughs> I, was, I was the only woman ordering, the only A black woman ordering. And then I sat. I found a little, you know, nook, sat by myself. And then I just happened to tip my head up. And I'm looking around, and I'm like, well, damn, Nancy. They could have had a lynching here, and nobody would have missed your ass because all of these old men – Old men. Now, you know, they came up with the 1940s and 1950s. They didn't like my kind too much. Nobody was giving me a dirty look or anything. They were all in their own little world. But it was like, wow. A, no other women, other than the two women that were, that were serving, and no other female customers. So I really gobbled down the hot dogs, two for four dollars. Gobbled my hot dogs and then I had to book it back to work. I was like about seven minutes late. Nobody said anything. But damn, they done closed the Taco Bell on my ass and they closed the Wendy's. Like, damn it. And I didn't I know that there's a McDonald's nearby. I didn't feel like having McDonald's. I like McDonald's. I love McDonald's. But I didn't feel like having McDonald's today. I felt like Wendy's. I wanted a grilled chicken sandwich with a baked potato and maybe a medium-sized Coke or a Sprite or something. That was the taste I had in my mouth. What happened to the Wendy's? They done gutted out the parking lot. The Wendy's got is all closed up. I was like, 
damn, you, you can't win for losing, Nancy. What the hell? So now, where I had an abundant amount of places to go to lunch, now it's getting slimmer and slimmer and slimmer. So now it's Nathan's. I have to go check to see if the McDonald's is still there because I haven't been there since I worked at the other place. Now, I'm going to the same places that I used to have lunch when I worked at the other place when I had an hour. That was when I had an hour to go get into the car and then I could go and drive before they change it to the whole 30 minute thing. That was when I worked at the old place. But thank God I'm at a job now, literally across the street, where I do have an hour so I can get in my Jeep. I have no other choice because they closed the cafeteria downstairs at this job. So I have no choice but to go outside and get something to eat outside and it's not like i have time to go into a diner and just you know lounge around and look at a menu no no an hour goes like that before you know it so i have to go find the place eat gobble up my food drink my drink hop back into my jeep and come back to work and then try to find a parking spot after that which by the way my, the parking spot that i found was not bad anyway now, you know, the places that I used to go, they slim pickings now because two places, two places are gone. Now, every now and then, you know, Nancy does feel like having a Taco Bell burrito, but now she can't have a Taco Bell burrito or she has to drive after work. That's number one, all the way to Hempstead Turnpike, Hempstead Avenue, Hempstead, whatever near where where I live here all the way down there and see if they still have the Taco Bell open there I I don't understand people I don't understand what what what, what do people have against Taco Bell what, what's going on what's up with the Wendy's what's up with that so yeah I'm going to have to reassess next week because I can't have Nathan's every damn day. You know, maybe once. But that two for four special, that ain't no joke. Two for four special. And then they got a little uh, extra special with one ninety nine onion rings. Those onion rings are the ish. And they're not the fake onion rings like the Burger King fake onion rings. These are those onion rings that when you bite into them, you can actually slip. If you feel the, the, the actual onion. Inside, oh, I love those. They taste so good. They just don't serve you many. They give you about five or six. I'm like, for real? But they are kind of huge. So, Nancy and your fat, greedy ass, you don't need anything bigger than that. Okay, fine. So, you know, two hot dogs, a medium-sized drink, and some onion rings, and that's lunch. But I didn't feel like having that today. I, I ate it, but, you know, I didn't really enjoy it, enjoy it. Because that's not the taste I had in my mouth. So now I'm going to have to reassess the situation and try to find other places. I, next week, I better try to see if the, that McDonald's is still there. Because if that's not there, where the hell am I going to eat? There are places across on the other side. There's a Smash Burger. And uh, 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 there's a Smash Burger. And there's like an Italian restaurant kind of pizzeria joint. But it's rare that I really want to eat pizza. Mm, you know, Smashburger is all right. I've tasted Smashburger. They're good. But, you know, they got, they're, they're like specialty burgers where they cost not like McDonald's. They cost, you know, like $10 a burger or something. So a meal is going to cost you $15 or something. I, I can't be doing that every day. <sighs> this lunch situation, people, this lunch situation, you know, I really wish that the cafeteria would reopen. Maybe it's not going to be the same people, but they better try opening up another, you know, get somebody else to open up the cafeteria downstairs. What are they going to do with that space? I, open up another damn cafeteria. I'm really, you know, now's the time to drink something because I'm, I'm kind of heated, but I'm not that heated. Annoyed is, is more like I'm annoyed. I'm just annoyed. Things, you know, Little things that would make my life just oh so much easier. Am I asking for too much? I don't think so. And then, and, and then again, 
Thursday. It's Thursday. What do Mondays and Thursdays? What do I usually do on Mondays and Thursdays? Monday, I didn't get my, my lottery tickets. And today, since I was talking with Nice Girl, by the time we were done with the talk, I just really just wanted to go home. But I felt good about the talk. I just wanted to leave. So I drove off. And it's like halfway, me getting home, I'm going, oh, damn, I didn't pick up my lottery tickets. So how badly do you really want to win this money, Nancy? You got to buy tickets in order to get the lottery, right? <sighs> okay. Well, that's, that's just the way it is, people. That's just the way it is. At least Mr. Mr. Man greeted me with some love today. Yesterday, not so much. Today, you know, he was waiting for me at the stairs. And I was like, oh, my baby, at least he was waiting for me. And then he started meowing, meowing. I guess he was cursing me out because I'm a little late. <laughs> you ain't the boss of me. I mean, he is, but, you know, I ain't going to tell him that. Anyway. Anyway. That is it. That is all. It's a lot better today, as you can tell. And tomorrow, ooh, Jesus. If only tomorrow were, uh, like, Memorial Day weekend, oh, would that be something? If she don't work the Friday before Memorial Day weekend, what? If only it was like that tomorrow, but I'll take it. I'll take the fact that I don't care. Just as long as she's not going to be there, it's going to be wonderful for me. Even though the weather's going to suck ass, and I hear that it's going to rain, and it's going to do all of this madness. Okay, so we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but it'll be a semi-good bridge to cross. That's all I have to say about that. So that is it. That is all, people. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. Great. And um, I will talk to you tomorrow, okay? I love you so very much. Hello to my new subscribers. Yes, people, I have some newbies. So... Group hug, family hug. If you see any new names in the comment section, if they're deciding to comment, you know, say hi. And, uh, you know, if there's a favorite video of yours that's really of mine and you want to let them know about it, you know, point them in my channel and let them pick out the videos that they want. There's an abundance of them. I've been making videos since 2011, people. Okay. Last month was my, my anniversary. My, what, six year anniversary. Damn, I've been making videos for six years. Say what now? What? Wow. Okay. And I'm on, I'm still on a roll. I'm not tired. I'm not bored. I hope you're not. I have lost some, you know, throughout the years. I've lost some. It is what it is. I can't be fancy hoity-toity. I'm not a guru or anything. I don't have a fancy background and, you know, I'm not, you know, mm. I don't wear a pack of makeup and show you the, no, I'm, I, I'm just me. Take me as I am. I don't plan on changing. I'm too damn old. I'm setting my ways now. What? So that is that with that upon that. Okay. I love you. I will talk to you tomorrow. All right. Nancy out. Mwah. Bye now.